Good morning everyone. Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. Today is a really exciting day. Today I'm actually going to be painting my lounge room. So we're going to be going to Bunnings to get everything, uh, to, to do everything. I've started some prep work. I've um, done stuff like around here. Let me see. There we go. I've, I've done all the taping around all the stuff in that. I'm really excited to get started on this. Uh, so I'm about to go to Bunnings to get all the stuff I need. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And if you're new to my channel, hi, hello. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and push the notification bell. And I will see you guys really, really shortly at Bunnings where we're going to buy all the stuff for me to be able to paint my lounge room and dining room. So I'm very, very excited. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Okay, so I've arrived at Bunnings. So let's get shopping and buying paint and stuff. So I got my list. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got everything written on it that I need. But I've decided that I'm actually gonna go with a low sheen. So I'm gonna get this one. Last week I was thinking about just going with a, a what was it, this one, a semi-gloss, but I think I'm going to go with this one. So, let's get all the stuff I need. This is what I've got so far. This is the longer one I was telling you about. I just have to find the inside for this one. So now I've just discovered that the paint pourry things I was excited about last week aren't going to fit this tin so yeah I gotta find a plan B so I changed my mind again I know and I saw a, a table that showed the different um, outcomes of the like the different sorts of paints and I decided to go back to the semi gloss so this is the one I finally decided on so while I was inside this happened we had a downpour so today it's supposed to be rainy you can see the ground the gray skies so looks like i'm going to be painting on a rainy kind of day okay so this is everything i got this is my paint and i've got a paint pot sheets the two rollers a really big one and a smaller one they're supposed to have really good quality a new roller thing for the big one two of these these that go like help you with around the um up here on the cornices but I did also buy a cutting in brush just in case I didn't like it. My paint trays and my filler. And I didn't get the paint pour for the tin because it wasn't big enough, it was too small. So what I did was I bought some um, takeaway containers because I'm gonna need something to sort of, you know, scoop out, you know, um, what's the name, the paint out into the trays. So my first step is I'm going to be, I'm going to start filling what holes I have and then from there I'm going to go and start on my skirting boards. So I thought I'd show you what I'm using as a workstation in the moment to put all my stuff on that I need. <laughs> yes, ironing boards are very, very handy. And I figure I'm better off having something somewhere where I've got everywhere. So I've got my bin, gloves if I need it. Uh, by the way, all that stuff you see over there on the floor in here, um, I've got to tell you the last time it cost uh, the total for all that that you see from here onwards, paint onwards, uh, was $220. $220.40 to be exact. So that's how much all that um, cost me to, to get in this frame shot here. 
This is my existing stuff. I've put it all out now so I sort of can see what I've got. In my box, I found a wooden spoon. And these are brushes and a pot that I had um, from when I actually did uh, my outside railing. So, back to it. Hi, so what I didn't realize was when I started painting, as you saw, that of course the edges of your carpet will hold dust and stuff. So I had to very quickly race down and get the vacuum cleaner and I've just gone around all my, my skirting boards with the vacuum cleaner to get rid of any um, dust or debris, any gecko poo that might be on the carpet because it just didn't occur to me that I should do that. If you're somebody that um, follows me and uh, you're into Reiki and Sashim and stuff like that, I've decided to make this whole process um, a very sort of sacred process of painting, especially because it's something that I don't normally don't do. I'm not, very, I'm not very apt at it. And like I said, this is challenging me like you wouldn't believe. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually put um, Reiki, some of my Reiki symbols, I've actually painted them on the wall. So then they will permanently be on my wall. So this wall, this whole room will, per, uh, will be always be um, attuned and have the energy of Reiki in this whole space. I will probably use this space as a healing space as well at some stage in the future. So the fact that I've put uh, healing symbols on the wall will actually amplify the ability for this space to be able to help uh, people that um, come to me to have Reiki or Sashim or any other kind of modality that I may choose to do in the future done. So that's just a little tip for any of those of you that are into that sort of stuff. Uh, it's really good. I also uh, drummed in here to clear this space and I also drummed over the top of um, my paint to put the vibrations of the drum down into the paint just to clear it and also just to give it the vibration of the drum and the shamanic um, vibration as well. Anyway, back to painting. So I'm about a quarter of the way around. So that's pretty cool. You guys have seen how big the room is. Pretty decent sized room. Now this is the tricky bit because I'm actually this isn't too bad. This is where the carpet was as you can see. So I can kind of rub a pan here. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be carpet done back here. Making sure I've just decided because I'm going to paint this part of the wall the colour. So I'm just kind of going up on this. So that's good. So I'm about a quarter of the way now. Everyone meet my on-site coordinator. This is Ella. She's here supervising me making sure that I am doing a fantastic job. I'll turn it around so you can see this little girl. Oh. Oh. I'm sort of sitting beside her, there she is. So she's, I've got everything sticking to me, it shouldn't be sticking to me at the moment, there she is. Ella, yes. She's my on-site coordinator. She's my, making sure that I'm doing a great job here. It's a great photo, hey Ella. Yeah. There you are. There she is. Just checking out everything, aren't you? Making sure I'm doing a good job. Yeah. Okay, back to where I go. What a day. It's currently raining outside. I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, 
There's the top of McLeod's car. So it is teeming. <laughs> so I picked a really good day, didn't I? <laughs> to paint. There you go. It's decent rain too. <laughs> okay, back to it. So I've gotten this far. This is where I'm up to. So I've done from here all the way around to over there. Okay, second refill. Second refill. Sorry guys. <laughs> right out of you. Um, I actually can't see what I'm recording, believe it or not. <laughs> so I just have to hope that you guys are actually, actually able to see this. Whoops. Okay everybody, so I have just used this. It's a candy painter shawl, a candy painter thing. And it's for you to use on the corners. Now it has, as you can see, it has like angles and it has like a straight edge. So I use the straight edge down. And there's a lot of people that like them and there's a lot of people that don't like them. That's see that, how that's angled as well, but this side isn't. So I use, I use the unangled side, so I use this side. Put my hands in the way, I know. Sorry guys, I'm going like that. Um, and I really like it because that's, that's the end result. So for someone like me, where cutting in is going to be an issue, look at this. It's cutting beautifully around my window frame. I mean, that's a pretty good finish considering. So I'm really impressed. So I'm going to continue cutting in. Okay, so here's the end result. I don't know if you guys can see. That looks really cool. So I've done around my window frame with that little thing. See how good a thing it gets? That's cool. I am so impressed. I'm happy about this investment. Wow, very good. So the painting has begun. Do you, do you want to step? Yeah. Do you want to step to try to get up higher if you need to? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. You can reach. So the walls are underway, guys. Halfway round, more than halfway now. Just a are you? It's come out really good. We're going to need a second coat. <laughs> you can still see the symbol. But uh, yeah, it's looking really good. I've just, I, I've just um, done up in there and I painted um, over here as well. So we're getting there. So this is the first coat going on. First coat, nearly done, nearly done. Brad's on the last wall now. It's not bad, it's come up really well. I'm really happy. So it's gonna come up really good with the second coat. <laughs> 